What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I've uploaded a video alone and there's a lot of random stuff going on in my life right now. So I thought I'd take this chance and share some of it with you. Before we get into it, I kind of developed a constant snacking habit, so I'm going to be eating some cottage cheese while filming. Fun thing to know about me, I love cottage cheese. I sometimes feel like I should be buried with a pack just to have something to snack on on my way to hell. Okay. By the way, before I start the other day, like five random people I didn't know subscribed to my channel and it literally made my day. I'm aware that YouTube is a long-term process, but I'm just so excited to see it grow and actually start building a community that supports each other. So basically, I wear my hair like this now. I kind of got sick of the whole puffy cloud situation that was going on in my head. It really didn't feel attractive anymore. Yesterday was the day where I actually went to the hairdresser and I don't know, I mean, I think it's a bit short so I still have to get used to it and usually the haircuts I get look good after a week. But like, it's fine. Hair grows back. It's not a plastic thing. It's not the end of the world. It's... yeah. Another thing that was like on my checklist was going to the eye doctor because I feel like I need glasses. Well, I still didn't go to the eye doctor, but I tried on reading glasses in Amsterdam and they were really cheap, so I got them. So here they are. The frame is great. I feel like the glass is way too strong. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen my hand or my cottage cheese in such high definition, but I do get a headache after some time. But at least I know what frame I'm going for now. I need to go to the eye doctor soon. I don't know, I feel like I look either like Harry Potter or a nerdy porn star, if you know what I mean. But yeah, either way, I need glasses. This is the frame I'm gonna go for, so yeah. Another trend I constantly see on more and more guys is like necklaces, pearl necklaces or like beaded necklaces. Maybe you saw in the Amsterdam vlog that I wore like a surfer boy necklace, which was like yellow, blue, and white, if I'm not mistaken, for my Halloween costume. I don't know if that's a trend I can hop on, just because I usually dress more classy or classic, not throwing shade on anyone, but I just don't know if it matches my style too much. The struggle of putting this on already makes me like not want to do it. <laughs> I would hide it if I were to actually wear this outside. I feel like I've worn worse, <laughs> if you know, you know. So yeah, maybe that's something I will start doing sometimes as well. Just another random thought. Next up is my whole modeling situation. If you're unaware, about a month ago, uh, maybe a bit more, I published a video of me applying to modeling agencies because it's one of the many things I'm interested in. I would actually recommend to check out the video so you kind of understand what I'm talking about, but I applied to a website called Model Scouts, so I didn't apply to specific agencies because that website apparently offers the service of doing the whole application process for you. You create an online portfolio, you pay, and then you're being reviewed by like 200 something modeling agencies. They have a lot of success stories, so I was pretty confused. I did hear back from them after 10 days, but it didn't seem very reliable. I got like a homemade Excel chart with like modeling agency names and then the categories of reviewed um, and all of them were like, yes, reviewed, but it didn't seem like over 200 agencies. It seemed more like a hundred. And then at the bottom, it just said like, at this moment, it's not possible. And please don't get this wrong. It shouldn't sound cocky, but I did have trouble understanding why no one would be interested in me. <laughs> so I don't know how reliable the website really is. Looking back, I'm currently serving civil service in my country, which is like a must for guys. So it's actually a good thing that no modeling agency wanted me because I only have a certain amount of vacation days that I can take off and if I would actually be booked in a different country I wouldn't be able to do the job because I don't have that much time off but obviously I'm not gonna stop here the whole modeling thing is still very much in my interest and I will be applying again in May or June but this time to specific modeling agencies I actually did some more research in the last weeks and I also found some smaller agencies that still manage to get their models on the big runway shows and as you guys already know my big dream isn't to become a model it's just one of the many things I want to try out. So before I start university in autumn, I will be applying again to modeling agencies. Speaking of, I'm currently in this process of constantly writing essays and finding transcripts, teacher recommendations because I'm applying to universities. It's a whole process, but what can I say? I'm not late or anything. I started three weeks ago, so I'm definitely on track. I'm done soon, but it's exhausting. But what motivates me is that I will be able to move to a new city, step outside my comfort zone, make all these new experiences, meet new people, and just properly start living life. Another thing I already mentioned is that I'm currently completing civil service in my country. 
Mm, I've decided to complete my civil service by working with visually and physically impaired children. So I'm basically working at a school for blind and disabled children. I'm now almost done with my second month and I've already grown much more comfortable in the situation. I have to be honest, in the first two weeks I was a bit overwhelmed by everything just because a lot of the children aren't verbal, which means they can't speak. So they have their own way of communicating, they don't really listen to you and they just perceive things differently. But since I'm more or less also always in the same classes I've grown closer to the children already I got to know them their different conditions and I get along with them pretty well they're super cute I have a younger class and I have an older class I have to say the younger class is a bit easier because you can just grab their hand and lead them somewhere while the older ones tend to fall and show a certain temper which can be very exhausting generally the whole experience is a bit emotionally and physically exhausting just because I have to get up pretty early every day I have to help them with everything Thing. As I said, the majority isn't verbal. I have to help them eat. I have to help them put on their shoes if we go outside. But I definitely believe that this experience is gonna stick with me through life. And don't get me wrong, I've always been tolerant and accepting, but I do notice that I've already gotten much more comfortable around them. I no longer mind if some of their spit comes on my hand or if I have to go to the toilet with them or something. I mean, it's all a bit, you know, but it has to be done and we're all just humans and it's definitely an experience that will stick with me for life So yeah, I mean that's pretty much everything that's going on right now Christmas is coming which is my favorite time of the year So I'm excited for that as well some Christmas content is coming soon I'm busy until end of June with civil service, but I'm working on a bunch of different things as well Which I'm soon excited to share with you. So yeah to finish off if you've made it this far Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's also something different I haven't really done a live update yet but it's probably gonna be something I do regularly every two or three months just because why not the whole purpose of this channel is to keep you guys in the loop and give you a chance to watch me become the best possible version of myself and hopefully accomplishing the majority of my goals so yeah thank you so much let me know your thoughts in the comments you know I'm open for video ideas and take care bye